Preston Professional AED Trainer is an innovative and exciting new product for the CPR AED instructor. The purpose of this video is to help you set up the unit and explain some of the features of the product. Everything we're going over here is contained in the instruction sheet. So if you have trouble with something, you can always refer back to the instruction sheet or the video. Let's start with the back of the AED trainer. This is where the battery compartment is located and, as you can see, the AED trainer is powered by four standard C batteries which are in the unit when it is shipped to you. The module will always contain two languages. In this case, the two languages are English and Spanish. This is the area where you insert the language guidelines module. The module can only be inserted one way to the unique design of the slot. The Preston AED trainer pads are made of a durable foam-like material with a silicone-based adhesive providing a minimum of 25 to 30 applications. Let's take a look at how you attach them to the cord. Remove and open the training pads case. Find the connectors at the end of the AED training cables. Remove the black pins from the connector. With the pad graphic facing up, make certain that the large diameter circle on the connector is also facing up. Then insert the pad into the connector, lining up the holes. Replace the black pin. There's a clear plastic liner on the adhesive side of the pad. To remove the liner, turn the pad over and gently push down on the connector, which will cause the liner to separate from the pad. Make sure to throw the liner away. Then adhere the adhesive side of the pad to the inside of the white plastic case, ensuring that the edges are lined up. Then close the pad's case. When you're done, wrap the cord around your hand and put the cord in the unit underneath the pads case. Preston has developed a unique pad sensing system that automatically detects when both pads are in place so that the AED trainer can progress to the analysis phase. The pad sensing system is activated by the sensor button on the adhesive side of the training pad. On the right side of the AED trainer is the control panel with four buttons and three indicator lights. The language button allows you to select the language for the unit. Simply press the button to toggle between the two languages. English, Spanish. Once you have selected the language, the unit will turn itself off. The Scenario Selection button is used to select one of five scenarios available on the unit. By pushing the button, you can change the scenario. For example, this is shock, no shock, shock. Red means shock, yellow means no shock. No more relying on an index or numbering system that you have to look up or remember. There are three levels of volume on the AED trainer. Volume, volume, volume. The last button is the play pause button. When the button is pushed, the unit will pause the scenario. When in pause mode, the three yellow indicator lights will blink. To resume play, simply press again. Open packet and apply pads onto paper. The green button is the on off button. The red triangle button is the shock button. The Preston AED trainer is preset for semi-automatic mode, which will handle the majority of your training. To change to fully automatic mode, hold down the on-off button for 10 seconds until you hear two beeps. The shock button will flash. Look up at the selection indicator lights and if there are three yellow lights, then the unit is in semi-automatic mode. 
If there are three red lights, the unit is in automatic mode. To change the mode, push the shock button. To exit and save, press the on-off button. If you have any further questions on this product or any of the Preston products, please don't hesitate to contact your Preston authorized distributor.